Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Matthias Knoet. I'm with MIPS Technologies and work on low-power microarchitecture in 1004K processor implementation. Thank you for having me today. I'll talk about power management in an embedded multiprocessor cluster. Over the past few years, coherent multiprocessor clusters have migrated into the embedded space. This was driven by high-end applications such as video compression, networking and disk drive storage applications. As typical for the embedded space, systems on chip reside in cost-efficient plastic packages without external cooling fixtures. As such, power budgets and thermal footprints are tied. Additionally, within an SOC, the computational platform must share the overall power budget with SOC-specific functions such as analog front ends and digital signal conversions. In such an environment, power management becomes desirable for single CPU computational platforms. However, Multiprocessor cluster applications make power management a true design priority. Computational platforms are designed to meet peak performance requirements of an application and these demands drive key physical properties such as power consumption in die area. If you look at typical applications of multiprocessor clusters, you can find two independent variables suitable for power management. First, execution parallelism varies between tasks and stages of algorithms. As such, not every program will allocate multiple hardware threads. Second, performance demands fluctuate temporarily. Not every program sequence requires real-time responses, or execution of the sequence concludes much before expiration of a schedule or other time slice. Temporal fluctuation in execution parallelism and performance demand build the foundation of a multiprocessor cluster power management system. In my presentation today, I'll provide an overview over the MIPS 1004K coherent multiprocessor cluster and its power management in hardware and software. Also, I'll give an introduction in the implementation and aspects of such a system. The MIPS Technologies 1004K coherent processing system consists of two to four microprocessors, each having two independent threads and virtual CPU environments. As such, up to eight independent hardware threads can be executed at a time. If required, these CPUs will operate within one common address space and their L1 caches will be held coherent throughout the system. L1 cache coherence is facilitated through a cluster central communication fabric dubbed the Coherence Manager. A Macy-style Snoop-based coherence scheme has been implemented. To ensure parallel operation between CPU load stores and coherent Snoop traffic, L1 cache diagrams have been duplicated. Depending on CPU access types, bus traffic of individual CPUs is either posted to CPU peers to enforce the coherence protocol or is routed to the level 2 cache. The coherence manager is able to receive parallel requests of all CPUs and enforces ordering between requests. The 104K cluster also provides an optional hardware coherence unit to stream application data in and out of the coherent address space. This unit communicates between SOC custom logic and the coherence manager which provides the cluster internal data movement. To respond to events, the cluster employs a global interrupt controller to route up to 256 interrupts to any desired hardware thread. This routing is fully programmable and interrupts can be masked or morphed to NMIs and thread yield qualifiers to facilitate thread synchronization. In a similar manner, the, yield, the interrupt controller can be programmed to generate events used for inter-thread communication. Last but not least, the 1004K cluster provides a power controller to support power management for each individual CPU and its supporting structures. As a platform peripheral, this power controller is fully programmable and can respond to software and hardware events. Core purpose of the power controller is to provide power supply gating, clock management and reset sequencing for each power domain. The controller will hardware enforce system integrity for the duration of power sequencing. Concluding the introduction of the 1004K cluster, a few technical details. The 1004K is a silicon foundry independent, configurable and fully synthesizable IP and is provided as RTL, accompanied by EDA flow scripts, supporting all major EDA vendors and silicon foundry libraries. The cluster operates at 800 MHz worst case for a given TSMC 65 nanometer GP silicon process. It can be configured from two to four CPUs each in dual-threaded coherent and non-coherent execution. Level 1 cache sizes are configurable between 8KB and 64KB. The system level 2 cache is configurable 
between 128 kilobyte to 1 megabyte and is 4 to 8 ways set associative. The system implements Snoop-based Macy-style coherence facilitated through a centralized coherence manager. Further, an optional I.O. coherence unit can be used to enhance application data movement between the coherent address space and the SOC environment. A programmable interrupt controller and power management controller are part of the coherent processing system. Before diving into the details of cluster power management, I will give a closer insight into the 104K coherent implementation. It has implications for CPU peer communication and dictates the structuring of the power management solution. First about cache coherence. If multiple CPUs accessing the same address space and possess private caches, data will be acquired from the common address space and held locally within the cache. Changes introduced to those addresses remain local and will cause CPU peers to access stale data. Also, no access ordering for that common address space is provided. Solving those problems in software is possible, but low in performance. Hardware coherency provides a high-performance solution by adding coherent attributes to each cache line. Modifications to a particular line must be coordinated with CPU peers, cache states, and line changes are only permitted after certain cache attributes have been obtained. For the 104K coherent cluster, the Macy cache attribute style has been implemented. Cache lines can be in states modified, exclusive, shared, and invalid. The CPU has permission to modify data after the line has reached the exclusive state. After modification, the line is mod marked as modified. Another CPU requesting the same line will receive these modified data and the cache line attribute of shared is installed for both CPUs. Let's go through the illustrated example based on the 104K coherence implementation. CPU0 attempts a store operation and encounters a L1 cache hit. The line was installed in state shared. CPU0 will request a line update from the coherent manager. The coherence manager will forward this request to a Snoop port available in all CPUs. The coherence engine of each CPU will access the duplicate L1 tagram to inquire about the local cache state. In our example, another CPU also possesses this line in state shared and a pending request to modify will cause this CPU to invalidate its line. Now, this CPU provides feedback to the coherence manager, who in turn notifies CPU0 to assume the exclusive state. The execution engine of CPU0 can proceed to store data to this line and finally install this line as modified. As we have seen, besides cache line coherence attributes, communication between CPUs and coherence manager is extensive. Computer architecture provides two major solutions to manage this coherent traffic. First, directory-based coherence. Each CPU requester communicates with one central hierarchical directory to obtain permissions and notify of changes. This solution is used in large clusters of processors. Second, Snoop-based coherence. Each CPU will inquire or snoop the status of CPU peers and notify all peers of local changes. The 104K uses the latter scheme. Microarchitectural features such as load store buffers and multi threaded execution bridges communication latencies efficiently. However, communication latency requirements dictate the definition of power management functions. Coherent CPUs are expected to respond to snoop traffic in a predictable manner to avoid latencies. Also, most likely, coherent CPUs operating in a common data set will have similar performance requirements. Therefore, CPUs in coherent operation will execute with a common frequency and voltage. If a CPU does not share data with CPU peers, it operates in non-coherent mode. In this case, no, no snoop traffic between CPUs is required and the CPU can scale independently in frequency and voltage. <laughs>